minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Main engine start, zero, and lift off of the Atlas V with curiosity. Seeking clues to the planetary puzzle about life on Mars. meters per second at an altitude of 6.5 kilometers descending. Standing by for batch separation. We are in powered flight. We're at an altitude of 1 kilometer descending. Standing by for sky crane. Sky crane is started. Single dot SU remains strong. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. is so beautiful. <laughs> Check out these living corkscrews, exotic in more ways than one. This newly discovered bacteria is what's called an extremophile, a microbe that thrives where life would seem to be impossible. In this case, the salty alkaline mud at the bottom of dried up Owens Lake in California. I have personally been to many of the most hostile and extreme environments on Earth. NASA scientist Richard Hoover knows all about extremophiles. He and his colleagues cultivate a virtual zoo of them here in his lab at the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. 
extremophiles were unknown to scientists until just a few years ago. But then researchers started finding growing things in unlikely places, inside the geysers of Yellowstone National Park and within deep-sea hydrothermal vents called black smokers. On the other hand, Hoover spends a lot of time studying extremophiles from cold regions. He's gone literally to the ends of the earth to find them, such as this expedition to Antarctica's remote Lake Untersea in 2007, coordinated through the National Science Foundation. 